developments tonight in a nine on your side I team investigation. Last week, the I team revealed a local mayor rented a home that a building inspector determined was unfit to live in. Today, Wilder Mayor Stanley Turner went to court to get the tenant's property out of that house. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheenham was actually at the court hearing and joins us with an update now from the newsroom. Craig. Craig, there are thousands of eviction hearings in the Cincinnati area every year. This one was unique because the landlord is a mayor. This thing's been shared thousands of times for getting hate mail threats. Outraged and venting, attorney Stanley T. Turner defends his father, Wilder Mayor Stanley Turner, who Stanley T. says is being treated unfairly following a nine on your side investigation. It's not right. Mayor Turner went to court today for an eviction hearing, the latest twist involving the mayor's rental home in Newport. And this window's uh, been broke since we moved here, and the lock for the window is sitting outside the window. James Cooks lived in the mayor's rental home for a year and a half with his girlfriend, Samantha Stevens, and three of his children. City records show the mayor didn't have the license required to rent it. It's horrible. Like, and I think this is where mice and the rodents come through. Like, look at that. That's going through the wall of the house? Yes. The corner of my house is going all the way through. In January, a Newport City building inspector examined the property and required the mayor to repair a wall, the frame of the home, windows, and much more. But a few weeks ago, the inspector determined Mayor Turner had done nothing to fix the house. So the city issued a condemnation order and required the Cooks family to move. I don't have to answer questions. You don't, don't have you understand? to answer the question. I don't have, you're nobody. You have no legal, moral, constitutional, statutory, any authority over me. The only authority you have pe uh, over anybody is the, the threat of this, the threat of humiliation. Inside the courtroom today, Mayor Turner said Stevens and Cooks owed him nearly $2,700 in rent. Stevens said they owed him nothing. Campbell County District Judge Karen Thomas ruled that if Stevens and Cooks removed their belongings within a week, she would dismiss the eviction case. We're down to place. We're moving on. <laughs> I'm just happy that eviction's not on my record. Samantha Stevens says the nonprofit Brighton House provided financial help so her family could rent another home. If you rent a home that needs major repairs, you should you could rather stop paying rent. The law allows you to put that rent in an account until the landlord makes the repairs. But before doing that, you should check the law for yourself and consult an attorney to make sure that you really are taking the correct steps to protect yourself. Kristen.